Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see here, I got this really neat looking little uh, 120 scale RC truck from DRC. This is the 8600E, as you guys can see here on the box. Really tiny little RC car. And that'll be pretty fun. It is brushed motor powered, so it's not gonna be super fast. But I think it's pretty neat. And if you notice here, it's got that Sandy Land branding. If you're familiar with the RC uh, toy class uh, budget RC, you know that Sandy Land is a common name used by PX Toys. So this is a PX Toy rebrand, which is very common. Uh, DRC mostly rebrands the PX Toy uh, cars. And the Sandy Land was like, a, I think that was a 118th scale truck, a little larger than this. And they've stuck with that naming convention onto the 120th scale one that this little guy has. This truck is four wheel drive. It looks like it's got metal dog bones all the way around, which is nice. And underneath here, let me take the body off because I want to show you here. Let me pull the, the body cliffs off of it. It has some, it's rather well constructed for being, you know, a $50 little RC car. It's got, um, it's got this, aluminum brace through the chassis here from the front to the gearbox to the rear so that's pretty nice it's reinforced the pla pa plastic seem pretty good you got some uh passive cooling aluminum block on top of the little brushed motor and it's fully proportional so the steering and throttle is all proportional it's not all or nothing on this little guy and it's got some bright white led lights here in the front bumper what you get with this you do get two of these a one cell voltage, and I'll explain why, I'm, why I mean, say that, uh, lithium ion pack with a micro loci connector. I got the other one charged up and in the car, but you get two of these. There's actually two lithium ion cells inside of here. It's a thousand milliamp hour is the capacity. What, it, what they've done, and it's really unique, I've never seen this before in a little battery. They've taken two 1S or two one cell 3.7 volt uh, batteries and they've wired them parallel. So what that does is it keeps the 1S voltage. So you, that'd be 4.2 volts fully charged, but it doubles the capacity. So you got two 500 milliamp cells. They're wired together to get 1000 milliamp, but the voltage does not double as if they were wired in series. So that is a way they were able to get a small battery pack and get higher capacity, but do keep in mind, since it's not, you know, it's wired in parallel, there's no way to balance charge. So the, the batteries could over time get out of balance. But these ought to be cheap and you can buy more if that would be the case. You get some spare body clips in here and some screws. I've already had to use the spare body clips. I think I misplaced the other ones. Somewhere in my house, I may have vacuumed them up when I was looking at it. So I've taken them out and used them. But you do get four extra ones and some extra screws. You get a little a cleaning brush here, and your, there's your charger um, they give you that charges that micro loci connector, so you have to uh, charge them separately. There's just one charger included, and you get a Phillips screwdriver for this guy. And that is pretty much everything to uh, cover this little guy. And we'll see how he goes. I did do a test drive in my basement. It's not going to be super quick, but hopefully it does pretty well, especially that it's proportional. So let me get the body clips reinstalled. And then we'll take it out here and drive it around from my house. I'm not going to take it to the skate park because this truck is not going to have the speed and it doesn't have oil filled shocks. It's not going to be able to probably make it up those slick ramps because of its slow speed. And even if it did, if it crashed, you know, it's not going to absorb the bumps. I think we probably, it might break something though. It, it's low speed. It's hard to say. You may not have enough speed to break anything, but I don't think it'd be good performer there. So let's we'll drive it around here, take it to the rocks see what kind of rough speed we think it looks like it is and uh see how it uh, works so let me get those body clips on them and then we'll be right back to take it out for a test drive all right so i got it powered up you can see those pretty bright white leds your power switch is very easy accessible here on the side i think this will probably make for a great christmas present for someone younger just wanting to get into rc i didn't go over the controller but I'll very briefly do that your batteries go down here it's your typical throttle reverse and brake you on an off switch, your for, fully proportional wheel here for steering. You have your steering trim. You need to center that up when you first start driving it. And your speed uh, 
a trim or dual rates. And if you, that's right now, I said on max, that's what I want it on. Um, I don't think this thing's gonna ever be quick enough that you're gonna need to dial down the speed for someone younger, because it's not, I don't think it's gonna be quick enough for that. Let's get out here, enough jibber jabbering. Let's see how this little guy does. Again, it's not gonna be very quick. That's full speed. That's not too bad. I mean, again, this is just a very small uh, brush motor in there. I can see it's gonna need some trimming. I did a little trimming in the basement, but it wasn't a big enough area. That looks pretty good now. If I can show you here, I mean, I can back it up here. It's pretty slow in reverse. You can give it a little bit of throttle here and it should go, you can see just a little bit. And there we go. And then a little more, a little more. So fully proportional. And same thing with your steering. Now this, you know, I can turn a little bit here, see? A little bit more. It works really actually quite well. When you're, sit when you're sitting still with the car and turn the wheels, it just seems like it doesn't move much before it gets to full radius. But when you start to get these cars going forward, then they tend to, uh, the steering works better as the cars actually got momentum moving forward. Yeah. And this is small enough and I hate to say slow enough, it's not slow for what it is, but you can certainly drive this inside your house. You're not gonna bust or hurt anything. Now this car is not gonna be able to go through my grass here, especially since it grew some and it's not completely dormant yet here. We are here in the middle of December, but uh, there's no way. They can go through these rocks and no problem. Let's back up here, it may have gotten stuck. Let's see, yeah. That lip here on the concrete is just too much because even though this truck, you know, it's built pretty decent, it's, you know, it's very small, you can see here. It just, the bumper's getting caught. So let's just bring it up out of there. So it's just gonna have, it doesn't have a lot of, doesn't have a lot of clearance is what I was trying to get at. The, Sandy Land, the 118 scale, just its design and the size of the tires, it had a much more clearance than this. This is really low to the ground, which will make it good for handling. It's a low center of gravity like that, but it's going to have trouble clearing much. So you're not gonna be able to drive this through any much grass, a little dirt, a dusting of snow, yeah. But you're not going to be able to drive this little guy through much of anything. You can probably ease him through this water. It won't hurt to go through that water there, see? Not a problem. And we made it up there. It's just if there's a little bit too much of a lip there, it can't get over it because of that lack of clearance. Those white lights are a nice little touch. I think this guy's decently priced. I don't think it's outrageous. Um, consider that it is fully proportional and is well built. A kid's not going to likely bust this uh, with the you know reinforced parts and the good plastics and the metal dog bones. So, and it doesn't go fast enough. You're not going to break this car unless something a lot bigger drives over it like a real car or something because it just it's not going to go quick enough. And yeah, it handles really well. The the, the more I'm driving, it, the steering is more responsive than I even I initially sort of suggested so kind of disregard when I said I didn't think it would steer a whole lot in between not all or nothing even though it is proportional it's it really does I can just give it a little bit here and it's actually much better than I was thought it would be this actually is I'm actually quite impressed with this little guy for a little fun driver in your house and really ideally for someone just getting into the hobby that wants a cool looking little truck it's not gonna break the bank and it's well built, has decent speed. I'm guessing that's probably around 10 miles an hour, maybe. Eight to 10, somewhere around there would be my guess. They do have a speed rating for it in kilometers, but I'm not good at, at estimating kilometers per hour. And this doesn't need a speed, speed run. <laughs> it's not meant for speed. But it does have pretty good power. Again, it's just gonna be a matter of is clearance going to be an issue? You know, can you go through stuff? 
with this, absolutely, but if it's gonna be as tall as this grass compared to the truck, it's just no way it's gonna be able to. I don't even have to even attempt to know that's gonna be impossible. Yeah. It's just really easy to drive. It handles exceptionally well. Again, way better than I anticipated. So I know the driving around here in front of my house is quite boring. This is not exactly gonna be the best. It's uh, kind of all I got here. It's starting to rain now, so I'm gonna try to get up here. I don't wanna get a bunch of water on the lens of my camera, which may have happened. So, yeah. All right, I think that's enough. We don't need to keep just driving this car in circles. Just wanna let you guys see, so if you are interested in buying this car, you might have wanted to see, well, how, let me see how fast it does go. Can my son or maybe even daughter might be interested want to drive this? Then this video hopefully helped you guys make that decision. If you're interested in this, or you're looking for a Christmas present, or you were just looking this car up, I do have a purchase link in the video description to it. I believe it was $49 and change. Um, some it, uh, These sellers uh, like DRC and Notorious for adding coupons and stuff that you can clip that might not have been there yesterday. So. The price could certainly be less. I doubt it's gonna be more with Christmas approaching. I think it's a decent buy at this price. Ideally, I'd like to see it more in that 30 to $40 range, but I do not think $50 is insanely high considering that it does perform quite well for what it's meant to do. All right, guys, that should wrap it up here for the little uh, DRC 8600E. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. While you're out at it, click that bell. That way you're notified every time I do upload a new video. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.